Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review how to use marker tools to signal crossovers. These crossovers can be used to paint entry signals and also to be used as filters. For example, on the right chart, these arrows are painted when these two red lines crosses one each other. On the left chart, these dots are painted when the stochastic red line crosses the overboat from the top or the overboat the oversold from the bottom. Both are two crossover strategies very similar. The only difference is that on the right we are looking at do, at two lines while on the left we are looking at a line and a constant value. Let's start with the HMA crossover. These two lines are an HMA of 34 and an HMA of 36. But let's start from the beginning. To review the setup, let's draw the two HMAs. And we want to paint signals when there is a crossover between each one. For that we use the copy indicator and we start with the HMA 34. We assign a name for example HMA 34 and then we do the same with the other line use the copy indicator select the in the input indicator HMA 36 and we get two lines at the bottom I forgot to assign a name to the second line. Let's use HMA 36. We can use a different color for the faster. I will use a red line. And we can put both lines over the price. We can select the same panel or we can also move the line with the mouse. So now we have the two lines copied. So we only need to use the crossover indicator where we select the names of the two lines that we want to check. The the names that we use are HMA 34 and 36. So we type the name of the lines. And the result is the difference between HMA 34 minus HMA 36. Let's assign this name. And we get this histogram which is the difference between both lines. When it is negative, the red line is below the blue. So we have a downtrend. 
here we have a crossover to the upside so we have a green arrow and here we have a crossover to the downside so that's all now we have the crossover signals ready now let's go to the other example on this setup we use uh, stochastic we only use the i am only using the key line so i can make the, the line transparent so we need to copy the key line of the stochastic and the overbought and oversold levels. We start with the copy indicator. Select the stochastic indicator. With the settings I am using 273 and we select the correct plot I am using the key line assign a name for example line key and this is the copied line now we only need the overbought and oversold levels as these numbers are not lines we need to use the constant indicator we assign the name sc for uh, overs over vote sobre compra in spanish and the another level sobre venta oversold we don't get nothing painted on the chart it is not necessary because those levels are copied into variables but if we, if we wish to see them on the chart we can use the paint indicator the paint indicator paints any variable that we have defined so we can use the SC overbought Let's place it on the same panel of the copy of stochastic. And now we do the same with the um, oversold SB or sobreventa over the panel number 3. We check that both char uh, charts are equal, just to be sure. Then we don't need any more the, the standard stochastic because we have already all these levels copied. And now we can use the crossover indicator to check the cross of the key line against the overbought. we check the line key and overbought and we assign a name for this for example venta or sell in English and now at the bottom we have the histogram with the difference between the key line and the overbought level when it is near zero it is overbought when it is big we are only interested in the crosses to the downside so we can remove the up 
paint so we only get the red arrows and now we need to do the same with the crosses of the key line against the oversole we use again the crossover indicator between the key line and oversold level SV or sobreventa assign a name for example compra or buy in English we get another uh, histogram this arrow is the crossover to the upside this red arrow is a crossover to the downside we are not interested in, in this crossover so we can remove it and now we get crosses to the upside from the oversold and crosses to the downside from the overbought to save space we can put both histograms together and we are done we are ready to trade the signals these are the crosses of a line against a constant value let's go back to the previous setup the HMA crossover so we get the crossover filtered setup on a previous video I explained the HMA filtered which is this setup with a filter for the filter I am using a, a median line which is the middle line of the Donchan channel the Donchan channel has three lines and the mean line is the line we are using as reference this black dotted line is the line that I am going to use so we take longs above shorts below Today in the morning it worked very very good. This short was taken because it was below the black line. The long was avoided. This short was also avoided. The long was taken, short avoided, long taken. Now how can we do this filter? So the, the first we need is to copy the black line. For that we use the copy indicator and we need to copy the median line of the Donchian so we select the Donchian I am using 50 bars and we select the correct mean line of the Donchian let's use black, uh, black color and we can place it over the price and we can remove the donchan now because we don't need it and now what we need is the distance between the fast HMA and the donchan line so we use again the crossover indicator the Donchan Chan, uh, I forgot to assign a name to the Donchan let's use Donch and now we can use the crossover indicator between the HMA34 which was already copied and the Donchan line the difference between those lines is the trend so I will be using this name I don't want to paint crossovers between those lines only interested on the histogram at the bottom we can see it is positive 
all the morning and negative when the HMA crosses below the Donchian. Now on markers we can filter the arrows we need to configure arrow in color green and arrow in color uh, on the crossover indicator we can select the colors so I will use red, red arrows and green arrows So now this is a red arrow and these are green arrows. So now on markers we have green arrows for longs, red arrows for short, but filtered we enable the filter using the variable trend. We only buy we only take long signals when the trend is positive so for long we set trend with a minimum value of zero so it must be positive and shorts when trend has a maximum value of zero so it is negative At the top right corner we can see the status, it only works on live, currently I am not connected, but currently we, we are on long mode, the histogram is on green mode, so we are trending to the upside, so this red arrow should be avoided because we are only on long mode. Okay, hope this has been useful for you. If you have any question, please post it below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.